Alright, tell me which one out of these is your favorite color? Now, tell me which one out of these is your favorite color? I'm pretty sure it was easier for you to choose your favorite color out of these two. This video was brought to you by me. Now, let's continue with the video. What is Hick's law? Hick's law says that the more choices you have, the more time it will take to make a decision. This law is also called Hick Hyman law. That is because there were two people who came up with this thing. They are William Edmund Hick and Ray Hyman. Okay, now I am going to talk about the experiment they ran. You do not necessarily need to know about this experiment to know about the Hick Hyman law. So, feel free to skip to the next section. The experiment was about checking reaction time. William Hick had lamps in front of participants. The number of lamps were between 2 and 10. The experiment was to check how long did it take to respond after the lamps lit up. The lamps lit up randomly after every 5 seconds. And the conclusion was, you guessed it right, the more lamps, the longer the reaction time. This law is widely used to make decisions on how to design the interface of a website or an app. If the website you are using has all of its offering on its front page, you are more likely to be overwhelmed and get off the site. If I told you that there are more than a billion videos on YouTube, would you believe me? Odds are you will. There are billions of videos on YouTube and nobody is sure exactly how much there is. That is because according to a 2019 statistic, 500 hours worth of content in YouTube is getting uploaded every single minute. Yes, one minute, 500 hours. But when you go to the home page on your desktop, you will see only 8 videos at a time. And when you use it on smartphone, you are likely to see 2 videos at a time. How do they come up with the videos to put in front of you is a whole different discussion. The discussion today is that they are not overwhelming you with choice. It means that the less choice you have, the less your brain has to work. And obviously the vice versa is the more choice you have, the more your brain has to work and the more time it will take to make a decision. If it takes a lot of time to make a decision to choose which videos you are going to watch, you are more likely to get off the website. Think of Google. You can get any information in the entire world just by searching there. What does the home page look like? Does it look like this? No, of course not. The home page of Google looks like this. But you know you can find whatever information you are thinking about just by typing in there. That is also why I create regular content that follows a theme. Giving people this is better than this. Wait a minute, my thumbnails do not follow a similar theme. People are not likely to recognize the channel just from looking at the thumbnail. And I am still a very small channel. Oh man. Alright. So, the more choice there is, the more time it will take. Is it going to go like this? No, of course not. It is much more likely to look like this. Why doesn't it start from zero? Well, even if you have to make a choice from two different options, you are not going to choose it in zero seconds, are you? There is another thing about IQ and experience where a person with low IQ and less experience is likely to take more time 
than a trained expert or a person with high IQ. The graph will look like this one. I guess that's all about Hicks law. If you have any comments, you can comment below. If you like this video, you can like this video. If you want to share this video with others, you can share this video. If you want to watch more of my videos, watch more of my videos. There are more. You can subscribe if you want to watch future videos. And if you want to give me your hard earned money, you can do that on Patreon. The bonus will be short today. For bonus, I'd like to talk a little bit more about Spanish. You already know, hasta luego means see you later. I have talked about it in a previous bonus section of another video. The new phrase for today is desde luego and it means of course. And this is the official end of this video. Thank you so much for watching up until this point if you are still watching. I really hope you learned something new today. Bye bye for now.